Action. Right. Add action. <laughs> Don't tell us, Hex. What are we working on at the moment? Hmm? I don't know. I thought it was only Hex in the books. I remembered I was going to Hollywood. Over left, Sam. Got an eight stone, you wizard. I got it on the post, and when it arrived, it was all boot bashed up. So I've got a refund because the guy was like, I just make when you send me back to the States. So I just give you the refund, and you'll send you another one. I was like, What did you do? Hey guys, uh, we're the Originals, Team Originals. Um, we just come off the Sailor Jerry ride um, and we're filming in East London at Hex's workshop. This is Hex. <laughs> this, is Hex. <laughs> this, is, this is Hex. Hello. And this is JR, who he shares the workshop with. <laughs> this is my apprentice. This is, this is his apprentice. JR's my apprentice. Cool. <laughs> and this is James. Hey, James. Hi, I'm James. And I'm Gemma. Hey guys. <laughs> Hi, Dee. Hi, Dee. Hi. Hey, Dee. <laughs> uh, so, we're here to talk about, I think, the Sailor Jerry's bike that we built recently. Yeah. Um, so, so, this is the winning bike. Here we go. <laughs> you look very proud, James. <laughs> <laughs> so. So, we said that we'd uh, talk through what we did to the bike. So I'll start with the, bit, the main bit that I did, which was the body, which I started with the 48 Sporty Tank. Um, and then Bob's the original fender, so I had something to work on. Um, and then uh, built with clay, the seat pan and the neck. Uh, and then the little kick at the, on the tail. Um, and then once I played it, uh, I then fiberglassed from about here, running on the tank, all the way around the clay on the seat pan and onto the fender. Um, and then once that had gone off, I then turned it over and then fiberglassed uh, the original fender onto, onto uh, I wrapped the fiberglass around and then once that was all set, put it back on, and then joined the tank onto the seat pan tail section. Um, 
and so that was what we, what we did with the body um, and then uh, we started with the front end which Hex was in charge of so Hex what did you do to the front end? I, I made just 21 wheel left up and then different bars and full gators uh, what bars did we go with? some like rabbit ear ones you know the rabbit ears or something? We went with the built well slimline risers. Um, oh, it'd be mouth for the ignition. Don't worry about pull off, I'll kick it there. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, like the. Where was it? It was all up here, wasn't it, originally? The original module. The, oh, no, it was in. So, the original module was all in the tank. Um, and just to try and clean up the bars, obviously, once we had the 48 tank, we. Uh, yeah, had to relocate the mess. Um, so yeah, we put the ignition switch down there. Uh, we stuck the gaiters on the front front end, dropped the front mud guard, uh, Avon Speedmaster on the front 21 rim. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I have new pipes. Did that's big one. Yeah, that was that was one of the big ones. If you want to talk us through the pipe, yeah. Someone's actually just asked if we can fire it up as well if you've got the keys. Yeah, yeah, we'll, fire, we'll have a little we'll ride it. on it maybe. We'll fire it up <laughs> at the end we've just spoken through everything. Um, so obviously we rode this on the ride. Hex rode it every day. So Oh hang on, there's yeah. a car, I better get out of the way. It's busy tonight. <laughs> Obviously, Hex rode it most of the ride, so there is, there is a little bit of wear. Yeah, and tear he's on the, the he's the one that, that managed to fuck it up a little bit. He's uh, put his shoe right through the exhaust wrap, which I wrapped very professionally, and you ruined. Thanks for that. Good. So, how did you do the pipes, Hex? <laughs> uh, so, up to here, basically the original stop pipes. And actually, this original stop pipes. Um, made this out of like that. Let's see. Flexi, Flexi pipe, pipe stuff. stuff. <laughs> it's very professional yeah, explanation. He says speak up. someone says speak up, they can't hear you, Hex. <laughs> yeah, uh Flexi pipe stuff. I can't remember what it's actually called. But. So you chopped the original pipes, right? No, I didn't even chop them. Not even this one. No. Oh right. Let's just uh, run straight into the stop pipe. This is stock as well, so it's just making this crossover. It's the only thing. And then, and then Gemma wrapped the pipes, <coughs> which obviously, as you can see, has some ruin. Um, we put the 10 inch, uh, 10 inch uh, struts on the back. Um, I chopped the when when I was doing the rear fender, I chopped the um, the frame and kind of shaped that, so it was just it had a bit of a cleaner line. Um, and when bobbing the fender, I took out this section, so it's kind of uh, saving everything from water and dirt and stuff, but still trying to keep the, the line of the tyre all the way along. Um, and then we uh, resprayed the battery, battery box and had our, our friend uh, Von Ledford, um, who painted the Sailor Jerry logo on there. Um, and when we sent away, uh, we had our fr friend Matt Earl do the paint job, um, and we went with um, a specific purple. To, um, yeah. A specific purple that was <coughs> basically we went with purple because Sailor Jerry was the first to ever create a purple tattoo, and um, prior to him creating uh, the purple tattoo, everyone had tried to make that colour. Uh, work in, in tattooing and, and they weren't successful so we thought it would be a good approach to use their um, to use their that, that colour as our base colour so Matt Earl painted it originally and then when it was returned um, the postal service actually damaged the the join here um, they cracked it in, in transit so <coughs> so we our friend uh, Bryce uh, von Ledford, he came in with his airbrush um, and did 
did this dusting along the bottom just to try and slim down the shape because it was looking quite quite wide, especially through this section. Um, and then he came through and did uh, the SJ logo on the top by hand. Um, and then the seat, I'm going to show him, talk you through the seat before you fire her up. Before you fire it up. The uh, seat was made by a woman called South on the Saddles. But yeah, just a little mini kind of sits in this little dish. Belt goes out. It's nice um, not to get too dirty on the way. Somewhere. Nice ass shot of Hex as yeah. well. <laughs> and then yeah, and then we mounted the um, <coughs> the number plate just on the back here on the side. Um, we went with some uh, white foot pegs to complement the coat bottle grips that once were white. Uh, Hex's then, dirty hands. And then we remounted the um, the horn. Uh, with a smaller, tidier horn, um, and then originally we had a mount that Gemma, who's filming, made um, that came off here. You can see where the bracket sheared, um, but the bracket originally came out here real nice with the with the speedo uh, and all the um, lights that give you all the signals of you know your oil and indicators and stuff like he that. He has to say this because I'm here, but usually when I'm not here, I think he says that it was shit, so. Uh, no, <laughs> no, no. Then, I'm uh, not stupid, man. But then, uh, and then we mounted a little LED uh, tail light here. Um, so yeah, I mean, we, we basically built it so that it could be as tight as we could. That's why we went with the rigid uh, struts so that we could sit it as low as possible to the tire and then mounted this little tail light here. Uh, and then Hex, what, we're, what, what tire did we go with on the back? Celsius. Uh, the old car tires, Celsius. Um, which is why it's not the nicest thing in the world to ride because it doesn't really fit the rim that well. But. Everyone's saying start it up, so I think you better start it. <laughs> actually left he's actually gone okay he will come back we hope i don't know maybe he will maybe he won't. i don't know <laughs> and here he is and here he is he's come back <laughs> in the meantime maybe you can show them your bike <laughs> Since he's just like, i don't want to talk them through my bike oh here he is he's coming back up the streets of Haringey. <laughs> so as you can see the uh, turning circles are pretty special with those bars but um, as long as you're going in a straight line they're actually really comfortable. It's only when you're trying to turn around in uh, small spaces it's a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> I'll keep it, keep it going so I can hear the pipes. Uh, you you uh, cruise off pretty quick. 